Now that Donald Trump's been elected, there are some... I've seen a lot of really great videos about how, how what we have to focus on, what we have to what we have to fight for and how we have to fight for it and I I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to add to that but I I, I do feel like there is something important that I, I am able to and have, have considered to before but didn't quite didn't quite decide to that that something I've I've come to understand and that I think is important to understand and that is the 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 psychology of selfishness and I originally this wasn't going to be a video about Donald Trump and I'm going to keep it relatively vague so that it can be applied to other things as I like to keep my videos vague for that very reason I've spent a lot of time around selfish people I, I want to make absolutely clear right from the start I am I'm not calling out I'm not condoning neither the the people who in in whatever way encourage others to be selfish nor people who are selfish themselves I I sympathize with any parent who is just trying to be a good parent and ends up spoiling their child and the, the anyone who is actually selfish but don't quite know how to how to address that and I especially sympathize with people who have to deal with others who are selfish I think that it's important to note that what we are taught as children is really the, yeah the word is fundamental when you've been I think I think a decent metaphor is how do you how do you turn the light on in a room the the non-selfish way to do this would be to do so yourself to simply go up and flip the switch yourself whereas the selfish way might be to always have somebody else do it I'm, and I'm not literally talking about light switches but you get my meaning you the goal whether or not you're a selfish person what you what what you seek to get out of whatever you're doing right now is to flip on a light switch and of course in reality what we're talking about is how how are you getting the money that you you want how are you spending the money that you have you know yeah but do you go and flip the light switch yourself did your parents tell you if you want the light on you go flip the light switch you know you that's not being a bad it's not being a bad parent to tell a child to do something on on their own it's just about when you teach them that and how you teach it to them and of course you don't want to be you know you want breakfast you go cook it yourself you spoiled little seven-year-old no, no no yeah the the but the yeah the, the sport child will always ask someone else to flip the light switch on because it's what they were taught as children any any child has some will some something they want to happen and it's it's incredibly important 
how of of course what they want but also how they're how they're expecting to get it and when they expect to be able to get it you know are you flipping on the light switch when someone else is trying to sleep to continue using that metaphor i suppose i should briefly I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious that Donald Trump is an incredibly selfish person. I'm not only trying to explain how, yeah, how that works, but also saying, you know, what do you, what do you do to stop someone else's selfishness from negatively impacting your life? And obviously, you know, he's going to have an awful lot more power than you know, the the majority of Americans are, so it's limited what they can do, but it's important. The, the less you can do about a problem, the more important it is what you do, you know. So, the, the yes, returning to, the, the sport child will always ask someone else to flip on the light switch, and I think it's important to, to remember that Ultimately, children learn what they are taught and what they're allowed to learn. You know, how much access do they have to computers and the internet, you know, today. And, you know, when, when, and that's also something, you know, when Donald Trump was growing up, that was not, so, you know, there wasn't that freedom of information. You know, today, the, the freedom of information, you know, a child who grows up selfish today doesn't really have that same excuse, you might say. If if you if you have access to all the information in the world of all time, and you grow up to be selfish and to to actively hurt other people, it's because you used that information to. But the the speaking mainly of those who grew up before information was free you can't really learn something if you don't have a manual for it and if the if what you if what you teach someone a child or someone you know you can you can make a selfish person out of an adult who was raised to be selfless if what you teach someone is that if they tell you to put on the light that you're going to rather than teaching them that if they want the light on or you know whether or not they ask for it that the solution if they for for them to get the light on the solution is for them to go and turn the light on and not and, and that they don't do so if it's going to be, you know, a problem for someone, you know, who has more important things to be doing or the like, who don't need problems like that. The, the, then that's the lesson they're going to take away from it. You... I've, I've encountered selfish people who, when told that they had to do something themselves now, or the like, just, they were, they were frustrated, and what I came to realize is, they were frustrated that they couldn't get the thing done that they, you know, maybe they needed the light switch on, and what they had been taught was, if you want the light switch turned on you tell someone else that they have to do it and if if they're suddenly you know if if they can't get from being told by someone else no i will not flip the light switch on if they can't get from there to going and doing it themselves and they might legitimately not think because what you've you don't you you know what you've been what you have access to the, the the knowledge that you have access to forms the the base of your knowledge so if you don't know that there are other options 
then that's just how you, you know, there, there are studies of this. The, the, the earlier you in a, in a human being's life introduce them to the fact that there are other ethnicities and that you know there there are different ways to do the same thing and they're you know respect other people's religion and such then the more tolerant they just grow up to be whereas people who have to learn it when they're adults especially people who don't learn it until they're maybe in their 40s or 50s they have a really hard time learning it because the longer you spend with an idea being considered the norm in your mind the the more attached you become to that idea of being the norm you know and suddenly you're you're standing there and someone's telling you they're not going to flip the light switch on and it's not actually a light switch it's you know drinking it's it's something to drink and you're incapable of getting something to drink yourself and you become frustrated and and to the other you know and it's going to seem like you're being even more spoiled by saying no you have to do it but what you're actually trying to communicate and and you're communicating in the way that you've been taught you know if, if you think the way to get something done is to tell someone else to do it then what you want done you approach in that way and then the more different things you want done the more you're going around telling people that they have to do something for you and what you when when someone says no and it's something to drink, you're like, but I'm extremely thirsty. I need something to drink, and that's not not everyone can be can be taught not to be selfish. Some people it's just so ingrained, and and some people it's. Some people don't want to be able to do it themselves. Some people do want others to do things for them. To, to some people, it's not necessarily that that's just the way it goes as much as that's the way they want it to go. They could do it in another way, but... And obviously, with those... Yeah, those you have to deal with in a different way, but if you... I, I think that there are things where Donald Trump doesn't really know or understand that what he's doing isn't the only way that it can be done. He's, yeah, he's just bumbling through life. I mean, if, if he knew what he was doing, he wouldn't keep failing at it. And, I mean... He, he does keep winning the election is the, the practically the first thing that's ever gone right from and I, I hope that that you know my concern is that that will that that he'll use that to, to that that will embolden him that he'll think well I've got this I've got this down I know exactly what to do I hope that he will listen to you know the the advice of people even if if that advice is going to be as as long as he doesn't actually break the country and i mean that very you know i mean there's there's a very real possibility that but but people who are much smarter than i have already explained the the things he can do to to the economy to the the sort of the 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 you know yeah wars and peace situation between countries and yeah I hope that that he does take advice from somebody who can keep it from getting as bad as it would if he just follows his own whims but ultimately he I don't think that anybody really intends to keep failing and obviously you know he's found solutions to 
you know, he, he keeps scamming people instead of, you know, building legitimate businesses. So it's not, you know, not everything he does fails. But then they're not even that good scams. He keeps getting caught. And, you know, he's, he's yeah, you know, what is, what is it, involved in 4,000 lawsuits. Not all of those are against him, and not all of those are going to prove that he did something awfully wrong, but, excuse me, it, it does tell you something about him. Just the... I think that if, if there were someone that he really would listen to, and that if he finally did learn to flip the light switch himself and when and when not to flip the light switch because clearly there are some things here in, in you know more recently he has actually learned you know he has actually listened to some of his advisors he's he's been less destructive in what he says yeah i i hope that you know, someone stares him in the eyes and says, flip your own light switch. And, and of course, that that person is someone who actually has the good of the country in, that, that, that that's what they're going to try to, you know, either get him to do or, you know, f or legally stop him from doing, you know, maybe give him, make him actually feel bad if, if that's possible, you know, make the, make that horrible excuse for a wig grow three times or whatever. But I do think it's, It's it's it goes very deep that that you you if if you you know you you know what you've been taught and if you just haven't you know that's that's why he he wanted to become a businessman and so he kept trying that because that's what daddy was and you know, if he, I don't think that there's nothing Donald Trump can actually do. It's, I, I don't think there's a lot of very constructive things he can do, but there, there, I don't think he's, he's completely inept at everything. And if he had just figured out what he could do and stuck to that, but he kept telling other people to flip the light switch. He kept throwing money after something because that's he had the money and he knew that to get a good business going you had to spend money. But he didn't know how to. He didn't he never learned how to and and so he kept trying and was frustrated that he wasn't that the that the light just kept not coming on.